Conferência de imprensa com o Sadio Dumbia e Fabian Rebui, os campeões do Oeiras Open 3. Guys, congratulations. What a final this was with match points for both teams. How are you feeling? Yeah, we, for sure we really happy. It always like nice to, to win the title. It was a tough week. We won like three super tie break uh, this week, even against a very good player from Portugal, Cabral. And yeah, I think we were a bit lucky this yeah this time. And uh, yeah, we enjoyed to play here. It was really nice, and maybe that helps a bit like at important moments. That was going to be my, my second question. You've been spending a lot of. Some, some weeks in Portugal, did it help you to already know the place, the court, the conditions? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we like it here. Uh, I mean, next week we play on grass, you know, and it was not the best preparation to come here, but because we like the city, because we like the people, you know, we do our schedule, like, depending on the people who are at the tournament sometimes, you know, so maybe it's not <laughs> very smart to come play on clay the week before a grass event, but for us, we have our friends at the organization, like the girls, the guys over there, so... It was important for us to come and like come to Portugal. We like it here so much. We enjoy playing here, so this is why we came, yeah. And we are very happy, obviously, to, to win the title. Huh? Yeah, it seems like every challenger you, you, we have, you guys play, play, play here. So you guys must enjoy the, playing Portugal in Braga, or Porto, whatsoever. Yeah, no, yeah, for sure. It's really nice. Like We love to practice. We have a lot of courts here. It's, yeah, and the weather is always like pretty good here. Uh, the hotel is uh, very good next to the, the to the beach, and yeah, we really enjoy everything like the food and yeah, the people are very nice here. Yeah, uh, we never won before. I was a bit disappointed about this. We never won anything in Portugal, so that's uh, that's yeah, a plus now yeah, to win something, final. you know. You guys made the final uh, last year. Exactly, and we lost like a very close super yeah, tie break, and then some stuff happened. Like we had like to stay in the room because of COVID. In Braga, some like events and like many things, many things happen for us in Portugal, you know. <laughs> and like finally, we end up with like a good win and a good note, you know. Like normally, when we leave Portugal, we are not very happy, you know. Be careful for the next time here. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> you never know what can happen in a match tie break. It's the most surprising part of the match. How do you prepare to, if you prepare to, in practice? Uh, to, to be honest, this year we lost all super tie break that we played pretty much. We lost like maybe I don't know like. 14 or 15. 14 yeah. or 15 out of 20. And I don't know what happened this week. We won three in a row. Yeah. And I'm not sure if we changed anything, you know. I think it's about about luck, to be honest. Huh? Like a super tie break, it's so close. It's one point here, like today. Huh? Like if you have a bit of luck, you can win it. If not, you lose it. So I don't really know how to prepare for it. Yeah, we didn't think about it. No, we, we didn't think about it. We just tried to play and see. And see. Yeah. It, could be, it could be actually to relax, you know. Yeah. yeah. But because of that past history, what do you guys talk to when you, you, you had match points, uh, one, two, three match points, what do you guys talk to, oh, uh, another loss coming, you guys talk that? Yeah, before I was telling me that, like, because like when you are in important moments, you start to think about like what, what happened like before in tournaments, previous tournaments, and, but today I was really relaxed and that's very rare. But yeah, today I was relaxed and I thought, okay, maybe we will lose. I'm not, play, I'm not playing great right now. I don't really deserve to, to win this match and it's 50-50 and let's see what happened. And we were a bit lucky and we did some good points at important moments. And yeah, that's why we are yeah, very happy. And you were injured, I think, during the final or during the whole tournament? So no, talk a bit about that. I have like a bit of shoulder pain, you know? But the, the physio helped me a lot and the doctor and so I mean I hope I will be okay for next week, you know. I think I should be, you know, but uh, nothing too crazy, you know. I mean I could play, you know, and I took some some pills and it was okay, you know. Uh, yeah. And what do you guys expect from next week? A big one for, for, for you? Yeah, it's the first time playing playing Wimbledon, you know. We played French Open twice already because of white card, but now with the good year that we had we can get into bigger tournaments, you know, so it's the first grand slam that we play getting in the draw directly, so very exciting, you know, but I think we are not very good on grass. Huh? It's going to be complicated because we are not, I don't think we are too good. I mean, we played one grass event last year yeah, and, we, we and we lost easy. pretty badly, so I, I mean, I don't expect much, but it's good experience for the next years, you know, I mean, we need to get used to it. Yeah. We'll see. And this decision to come here and play on clay was because of the no-point situation at England, of course. Since you have no experience on grass, 
taking this one to prepare? But to, to play on we wanted to come to Portugal. I mean, me, that was the thing. Yeah, we could have stayed in Italy and played in Milano because we played the tournaments in uh, Parma, but we really yeah, wanted we to come. We talked about it. Like, we said like, we know the conditions, we know it's a nice place, like, it's not a, not a surprise where we go, you know, and we knew it's... We like, we it, like it here. So and we came. That's the most important. Like, maybe that's why we won like, some tough matches. When you feel good in a place, maybe it helps to win some matches also. That's why, yeah. But, uh, in, but are your goals for the, next, uh, the current season and the next ones? Because you, you guys uh, have been uh, really good on Challenge Return Tour. Maybe uh, you, you have to, to go up, you know, uh, playing an ATP Tour. But yeah, that's the, yeah, that's the goal to play like biggest tournament. But we really like to play challengers. Like it's not a problem. But yeah, if we can get in in some ATPs, it will be good. Yeah, and yeah, see new tournaments. Like like uh, Wimbledon have new experience. And yeah, we'll try to to make the same in ATPs when when we can play and win every. Yeah, try to win every match, like in challenger and and continue to enjoy. To play together and have fun. That's the most important. I just wanted to ask you, last year in, in Maya you were sort of in a race with the, our team, Borges and Cabral, for the most challenger titles in, in the season. I think they won 6-5. Uh, what what do, do you think of them and uh, how, how do you see them? I'm sorry for asking this. No, 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 good question. No, I mean, I think, I think they are very, very good. I mean, from like the first time we watched them play, like we, we talked about it, and for me, uh, I'm pretty sure they will be top 10 at one point. You know, I think they can win like a Grand Slam or something. I mean, I'm, for me, they are one of the best teams in the world. This is how I see it. You know, like from all the teams that we saw, even in ATP's events, the way they play. When we played them in Maya, they destroyed yeah, us. We, we played, we played, well we played and good, we lost and they like destroyed us. Or so like the combination of both, for me, even actually, they are one of the best teams in the world. Like I think that they can already win like a Slam. To be honest, you know. I think they are very good, but we'll see. Eh? That's my prediction. But let's see. But you can see with the results, like they, they won so many titles. L last year they they could have win like maybe ten or twelve because they started like very late mm -hmm. during the year, like to play challengers. But they, they were much better than than us exactly uh, with the results and everything. Like they won so much and like they were close to win every tournament, and that's that's very tough because the level is very high in challenger. And there is no, no, not so much difference with ATP because we, we started to play some ATPs and, and Grand Slam. That's why we can say that they will have like for sure a great future if they play together and, and we will see them like for years maybe. Yeah, and they are very nice, both yeah. of them, which good is friends, nice, you know. Yeah. They are good, friend of, good friends of, of ours, you know. Yeah. Very relaxed, both of them are, are super chill and super, super kind, yeah. So it's a plus, yeah. Okay, thanks, thanks for that. Yeah, sure. So, just one more. You have a lot of tournaments in, in France, ATP, ATP Tour level, uh, but how is it for you to, to get in and to enter? Because in singles we know they, they have walkers, but sometimes in doubles they give the walkers to, to singles players. Are you expecting to play some, uh, well, maybe in the second half of the season, in the paris Bercy maybe? But, you know, in the first half there are some Marseille, Montpellier. Uh, right. I mean, we, we try to ask why card, but we don't get that many opportunities right now in France. But we understand why, because like some French, some young French players want to play as well, like from singles, and they want to get the experience of playing ATP events. So we understand how the system works, you know, and it's, it's, it's the way it is, you know. Sometimes it's good to come from like a big federation. Uh, because you can get money and like white card and these kind of things, but sometimes it's a bad as well because many players want the opportunities as well to play. So we know how it works, you know. But maybe we get a chance to play Paris Bercy. We got a chance in Roland Garros, mm -hmm. which was amazing. So we cannot complain, you know. If you get like two or three chances a year, that's uh, that's and, a plus. And and, yeah. and that's like big tournaments like Bercy and and Roland Garros. If you win one match, it's like a challenger, you know. It's it's like. Yeah, we we are very lucky, like in yeah. a big country like that. So we don't expect nothing from like the tournaments, but if we get it, it's a plus, you know. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks, sure.